What do you want to tell the people who are doing this for thank you? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. And God bless them. Yeah. Whenever they are. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Guys, this tone is emotional. You know, when he's talking, I feel like crying. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Atutenga Junior. It is another wonderful morning that God has given unto us, and we have to be appreciateful for that. Yeah, guys, uh, today again, I'm coming live from the villages of Kitembe, and I've just alighted from the road, uh, from Rongo. Right now, I am headed to the village because there is a work that is taking place over there. But first of all, as always, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much to the returning subscribers. Those who love what we are doing here in Africa. And they say, let's go back and watch the videos. Thank you, thank you very much and God bless you. You know, every day whenever we pray, we include you in our prayer. Because you really, really support us and help us grow the channel. And also not only growing the channel, but also spreading love to the people here in Africa. God bless you. Yeah, uh, today you can see uh, I am using a wooden <laughs> bridge. This is a footbridge, you know. There is a river here. And this river, it is called River Luala. Yeah, this river is called Rua Luala. Yeah, Luala River. So it is just connecting with the big river. That is River Kuja. Yeah, River Kuja is just somewhere here. So I don't know. Uh, geographians know where the two where two rivers meet. How do you call it? Yeah, so they just live, uh, meet over here. And uh, this big river, it is the one that is also uh, headed even towards my home. Yeah, so you can see here. Uh, the river is here. So this one is a little bit dirty. And uh, this one is clean, but you see, they doesn't mix. Wow. You know, this is work of the God, the Lord. And that is a footbridge. This foot, foot uh, not, not footbridge, but uh, uh, this is a bridge, a uh, vehicle bridge. It is called uh, Kuja Daraja. From the word, this river, then Daraja means bridge. So it is Kuja Bridge, that is the name. And uh, this big uh, forest that you see here, this is a school. And that school is called uh, St. Jonathan. If you see at the bridge there, there are some pupils. Uh, they are coming from school. Maybe today is a sports day. Yeah, so guys, this is my village. And again, uh, where I have alighted at night, it is very dangerous, you know. Yeah, there are people who wait for others here because it is a bridge. They attack you, they rob you, you know. Yeah, that is what they were doing back then. But nowadays, people have left uh, those kind of things that they were doing. Nowadays, they do other different things. Yeah, it was so bad back in the year 2007 when we were still going to primary school. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, I gave a surprise gift to a praying lady. I gave her a Bible. Man, I was so happy how she prayed receiving the bible you know what shocked me is she valued the bible the bible more than anything else wow she's just an amazing lady and again people now knew know the reason as to why i uh we call her praying lady you know each and every time when i reach there she has to pray it was such a wonderful moment and again i thought last time the bibles were a little bit expensive but it is a uh, the local Bible Bibles are not expensive. Like the one that I bought yesterday, I bought it at uh, 1,200 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, and uh, I have got a friend of mine who is uh, willing to support with the Bibles in the community. I know we are going to do this. Uh, I did not know the price because uh, uh, with us, okay, you know, we, we, we do read English version. So I did not know the, the, uh, the price of the local one. So the local one is a little bit cheap and I know we are going to do this. You made her happy and God bless you wherever you are. And guys you can see here uh, we have got uh, this river. This is River Kuja. Now this is the tra terrain of my, the physical terrain of my area. This is how everything looks around this community, you know. Wow, this is 
the beauty you know you can even come here just see the river from this angle you know i'm standing at the hill and the river is down there wow it's just amazing you know th uh, things like this we usually just see them in a movie like uh, you see the soldiers are hunting for a crime somebody who has done crime then they go yeah hiding within the river with the boats as uh, they use it as a form of uh, escape route but uh, the military try to find a way to get them yeah we know when you are a child you dream big so we really really loved watching the movies wow it was amazing and again in africa if you get the privilege to watch a tv when you are young hey you are one of the uh, 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 kids who who have got a privilege to have a luxurious thing in their life you know yeah but nowadays things have changed uh, luxury things are uh, it is tough like for example uh, if you find somebody with a car that maybe somebody can say oh this is now the luxurious thing but things like tv you know yeah we have got uh, solar companies who are bringing tvs within the villages so it is no more a luxury thing maybe we say owning uh, things like car wow oh somebody killed a bird here wow so bad for that bird because i can see the feathers are all over this is the shortcut route because sometimes i usually uh follow kitere kitere is a uh, one of the centers nearest centers in my village and uh the university that is around that place is called rongo university so today if i follow here it is a little bit cheap i don't want to exhaust my pocket by using the other way because today i did not have anything that i was carrying so i have to be very economical and again guys uh, there was this guy by the name fred yeah fred was the one who was to bringing me home because i also wanted him to be part of helping me uh, as a transporter but uh, unfortunately when i called him it was two days ago i've been forgetting that first time that i came here it was on sunday when i called him hey bro how are you i'm good uh, I need you to take me home. Are you available? Then he say, yeah, I am available. I'm in town. But uh, unfortunately, I cannot take you because my motorbike has been taken. So the owner of the motorbike has uh, taken his motorbike. So he is not working, you know. And uh, like I told you yesterday, uh, not last time, I said the motorbike that he's using, he is renting. So anything that you are renting, the owner can just take in them anytime so it is so bad for him but i know god will open his ways he might find his so that he I can be paying it slowly by slowly because there is a way if you pay some little amount on these uh, uh we call them credit yeah you buy a motorbike in credit but uh, it should be on a higher purchase because you go deposit some money then you pay monthly but here they uh, they are being advised to pay daily or weekly yeah so i hope maybe god will open his way so at least you get little money go and buy and now he can be working yeah every now and then yeah that guy is a total of fun and uh he has got a lot of people that he's taking care of but i'm so glad yeah when i aired their story i got respond good respond the school fees that he was having as a burden has been paid god bless you to the people who made that possible i'm so humble i'm very very humble you guys are such amazing yeah guys today is my third day here uh, in the village and uh uh i have got my team in yabuhansi that is fellow the boy zach discovery yeah there is a work that we are doing in kiburanga kiburanga village we are building a house for sir edwards a mega project which is going on there so i had to take a leave a little leave i come to the village i finish the toilet for this widow then i might be probably going back next week maybe early next week yeah because i have to take care of everything so that when i go back everything is well take care of and we continue with the job yeah so sir edwards wherever you are your job is well taken care of and uh, I'll be there to be also part of the team. 
Yeah. yeah, and I'm I'm super happy because a fellow the boy called me yesterday and uh, he told me good news that uh, he has uh, officially started constructing Mama Maria the toilet. You know, it was very painful because I I hadn't gone there, but uh, first time when we went there, uh, hey, it was so terrific. But uh, I'm I'm so happy for our subscribers. They usually come through and uh, support, support, support. So Mama Maria is going to have a toilet you know yeah that's going to be a big thing to her and uh, I'm so happy very very happy about that yeah you know uh, and I, I love the heart the kind of heart that she was having you know and she was also living in a, a, a bad condition but uh, she was always there to support mama Fred she did not even have bad blood maybe uh, feeling jealousy she was always there you know yeah but if it would have been some people they would have come and maybe even doesn't want to come because we saw we witnessed a lot of people who weren't coming over there you know yeah so thank god uh, her time is coming she is going to have a beautiful beautiful toilet yeah so here yeah, this is river. Uh, this is another river. This is now River Kitembe. Yeah, it is River Kitembe. And uh, that is where the, the name of our village, I mean, it was derived, you know. So my village is a village Kitembe. Yeah, and I have got some boys here. Picture, eh? You got a picture? You know what Elisha. Oh, so it's called Elisha. And you, you know what Isaac. Isaac. I was a good one. Oh, so they are wondering, they are seeing themselves on the camera. What, what, what have you come to do here? Ubro Timo Moka? Ubro Mopi. Oh, Ubro Mopi? So I'm asking them what they came to do here. They are saying they come to fetch the water. And you can see. So they are holding themselves like that. They want a photo. Wow, ni sawa? Eh? A lot of video. Sawa? A lot of video. Yeah. So they are wondering, you see? They are very, very wondering. I tell you, this is in my village, you know. They are not used to this. And uh, it is uh, somehow tough sometimes because it is your first time being the first person to be a YouTuber in your village. People will be wondering, wow, what are you doing? <laughs> but I know with time, mm, we'll have more, more, more YouTubers within my village. And again, I'm so happy because this village, it hasn't been shown anywhere in the world. But, oh, somebody's dropped a spoon down here. Uh, maybe when they were going to clean the utensils, they drop it there. So what I was saying is, uh, no, people, uh, this village hasn't been uh, aired in any TV. No media has come here. But I'm so, so glad it is being seen. This is another footbridge. Yeah, this now footbridge is called... Uh, Bridge Kitembe, yeah, this is a footbridge. It helps us like a, an, uh, a short, shortest way, you know. So we just walk like this and go. And a good thing, it has got a place to hold. So even the small children can be going to school and they just pass here. Yeah, so my area is blessed with water. And uh, around that place is where the young boys were bringing the sand. Yeah, so finally I am in the village. Yeah, finally, finally. I'm in my village. It is kind of rocky, but now that is the nature. Lord, know the reason as to why he placed these things over here. Yeah, and that's the reason why if I, uh, well, let's say we are, uh, we want to build a toilet or a, uh, a toilet because here we doesn't need a borehole because we have got running water. The only thing that, uh, we might consider is uh, maybe a pump that is taking water towards the home. Wow. From a distance, you can see my home. Let me show you. Yeah, that is my home. I'm just now home. That is my brother's house. The one that you see with the black iron sheet or black zinc. Yeah. So maybe the pump, pumping water can be okay. But God, our Lord, is going to provide, I believe, it is going to be possible yeah so i know uh because i called the masons very early and they told me they have already come they are continuing 
with the work today i came early because yesterday i was having some problem so i thank god everything went well today i'm here very very early yeah so this is my brother's or my cousin's home you see he's a man of plants he's a man of flowers look at his home yeah this is a live fence you know this one is a live fence nobody can get inside his home you know if he doesn't use a gate yeah in here we call this kind of uh, stones kayaba i'm going to google its english name but maybe if somebody knows you can tell us yeah Uncle Tony, I know you are a man of flowers, you are a man of trees. Hey, what do you think? What is the name of this in English? Or is it Kayaba? Yeah, and also this little angel. Here me speaking and she came to say hello. How are you? Inti Maber. Yeah, she came back. So this is called Brelia. Brelia, how are you? Yeah, so you see, she he has got fence, flowers, you know, flowers everywhere. Yeah, and uh, since it is harvesting time, you can see uh, we have got maize all over. Yeah, you know, they harvested the maize and now they are drying it to go and ground it so that they can have food. Yeah, then we have got a girl. Hagar, how are you? Fine. You're fine. Are you, uh, you are still sick? Oh, you are okay. In you are okay? Oh, you are okay? Wow, so guys, it is good news. A girl is now well. Last time when I was here, she was sick, but she has improved. Everything is okay. Ah, Miss Awa. Yeah, then they have got a dog here. Wow. Nigenga wa Simba? Sorry? Nawa? Kingi. Oh, so it's called Kingi. Hey, I don't know what the name means. And that is the its whole house. The one that you see down there, that is its house. Yeah, so it's called King. Yeah, so this is my cousin's home. I'm just passing uh, because I have to go and see the work that is taking place here. Here, here, here. Yeah, he has got a beautiful compound. But then there was something that I wanted to show you, but I didn't I did not show you. So this is my home. This is my mama. Ah, Mina one. Now they were I so this is a home. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my village. Oh, wow! This is amazing. Whew. You can see men at work. <laughs> Who came with this idea? Who came up with this idea? Wow! So, he, 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 he. my brother is very very protective here. He, he doesn't want any jokes with the, uh, this uh, apple plants. Yeah, so he's trying to prevent it from animals from anything how about how are you oh, then we have got sam mm. sam is here guys he came mm. also to mm. amen yeah, 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 right. <laughs> yeah then we have got frank then we have got uh, baba eh, baba frank mm. yeah or collins yeah so hey you you, yeah. you got this one yeah. oh then you decided to make it with this yeah. Yeah. Okay. oh yeah security Oh guys, this one now is going to grow no matter what. Even if the animals come, it can't be broken. Yeah, it can't be broken. So this is he, 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 he told me this yesterday and today he is doing it. It is happening. Okay, Nisa. Yeah, so hey, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy for him. Wow. You know, uh this is apple and uh, maybe it's super protective because it is it has not been seen in the villages here wow this is amazing yeah so let me just go at the site we see what is there and uh, from there i give you some directive then i'm gonna let you know yeah so the lady that we are building her toilet she's not coming far away from my home uh, she's just near here so she's uh, like uh, auntie because my dad and uh, the person who married her were brothers so that is my uncle now the wife should be my auntie yeah so the sand is here the materials you can see that has been remained yeah and uh, who is cooking here somebody might be cooking something here 
and this is a they want to cook ugali yeah ugali is made from corn grounded corn you know yeah <laughs> yeah so the work is somehow going on here wow it's amazing it is amazing 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 they came you know yesterday when we came when we were here we left at this level but you see they came very early they've started raising that side of it yeah so maybe they can just say hello hey what do you want to say hello i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine okay mm. yeah so guys uh, hey, we are greeting in our vernacular that is luo yeah very nice language over here so what's it what's means we have arrived <laughs> yeah so baba henry is here he's the mason or uh, Raphael is here as the one that is doing the construction of this toilet and is being helped by uh, Otieno. Yeah, Otieno is coming near Kitembe Primary School. Yeah, so guys, uh, this is moving on very well. And again, today uh, we are planning to finish it to the uh, roof level. You know, we want to leave it at the roof level so that tomorrow we do the roof and also we do the door we do the doors then following day we do the plastering so most probably by friday friday we'll see where it's gonna reach yeah and uh, mama a boy uh, she told me yesterday that she was to go and uh, take care of some business she is a banana seller so she went to uh, she, maybe she went to sell a banana and uh yeah, she's not here. You know, she has to go and look for bananas, come make them ripe, then sell them. Yeah, so that's the person that we are building for a toilet. And I'm so glad the work is moving on very, very well. That is a qualified mason. Yeah, he's a qualified mason. And uh, once he's there, I don't, uh, I don't feel like there is a problem. Yeah, and uh, here, this is a beautiful fence that I'm building over here soon and very soon i know god is going to bring me something i'm going to finish it very soon most probably maybe in the course of next week yeah not this but the coming week it will be done god uh really yeah and uh here mama evan or mama clinton she is now harvesting the maize then we have got try and run Nade, inti ma fine. Daki, daki, daki rida doma. Hmm, hmm. Ah, so we have got Mama Ryan. Mama Ryan is here. Yeah, she's helping Mama Ivan to harvest the maize. Yeah, so this is Mama Ivan. So they are cooking the maize here. What do you think, Mama Bear? Hmm, what do you think, Mama Oh, oh. Oh, so she's happy saying the maze has done well. This land, uh, since she started working on it, it hasn't done well. So this is how we harvest maize in Africa, you know. Yeah, you remember when we were in Yabuhanse, the same, same uh, thing they were doing. Yeah, so finally we are in the village. And uh, thank you, thank you very much, guys. We have got a lot of activities that we want to show you here. Hope you are going to be happy to watch and share and comment yeah please give this video a like it's gonna show great love you know the fruits are doing well oh they've dug holes so they are coming to fix uh, still in the village and uh, we've enjoyed eating the meal yeah it is uh, after lunch and i uh, just want to show you uh where the job has reached oh we have got bonnie bonnie what's your english name eh? Oh, Branox. Yes. Oh, Bonnie Branox. And also, we have got a boy. A boy, what is your English name? Alexander Omondi. Oh, Alexandra Omondi. Ah. So, here they are. They are chilling. They are uh, cousins now. They are chilling. And here, guys, we have got the iron sheet that is going to be used in constructing that toilet. It is resting here. We bought two meters, uh, six pieces. That's what the directive I got from the mason. Yeah, and uh, 
This is Mama a boy's home. And you remember I told you in the morning she went somewhere to do some business, you know. Yeah, she has to be very, very active. Yeah, you know. So here is the work. Yeah, you know, uh, last time when I came, first time I came here, uh, there are some parts that wasn't complete. But now you can see uh, they are almost finishing. Yeah, because today we wanted to be, we wanted it to be complete today, today, today. Uh, and uh, this mason is uh, doing a marvelous job. Yeah, so we are hope we are hoping tomorrow we do the roofing. Yeah, tomorrow we are going to do the roofing. It is very hot, as you can see. That's the sun. Wow, very very hot. So he has been being hit here with the sun from morning to now. Wow. So <coughs> your, your level will be many hours, isn't it? Uh, oh yeah. Wow. So guys, tomorrow. Ah, it's gonna look so nice. It's gonna look so so nice. So, uh, you will be also when you'll be putting the door. I mean, no, no, the uh, the roof. You will also include the door tomorrow, or uh, yes. oh, the next day. Eh? Oh yeah. So it's amazing, amazing. So meaning, but I hope by Friday, guys, will be done. Everything will be done. The plastering and everything here. Yeah, so moving on very well. And uh, welcome to Kitembe village. Maybe you are wondering which village is this. It is a very beautiful village. Very, very green, you know. And uh, the kind of soil that we have here, it is stony, you know, just like this. But uh, we are glad uh, we are having the crops. Yeah, we plant the crops and we have the food. Yeah, let's continue with this work. We're gonna show you how the day is gonna end here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so guys, you remember last time uh, when I came from Rongo, I found my brother making this stuff. So I'm glad he made all of them. And uh, this is so great. Even if somebody tied a cow around this place, it cannot interfere with him. With it, I mean, and uh, we were with him here. Now we want to go and show you uh, the work that has happened in the toilet that we are constructing uh, and also we just call it a day yeah so maybe you can just go and i'm so glad of him because of what he's doing here you know he has uh, made all the three all the four all the four fruits you know he i'm so happy you know <laughs> he promised me he's gonna take care of them but he has taken care of them yeah he even placed the tire you know even this one it has been wired. Ooh, look at this. Uncle Tony, look at your man. He's also a man of fruits. He loves fruits and, and, and trees and so much, you know, the greenness, the nature. Yeah. You see those trees? Those are uh, down there. Yeah, that is his work. He planted trees when he was still young. So he has been a man of, of fruits and trees. And again, he's so happy for the fruits, the, the apple. Yeah, and by the way, have you have you seen any apple around this area? No, I never seen. Oh, you you did not even know how it it looks. Uh, but almost I saw it it. Oh, you have eaten it in Nairobi. Oh, some years back. Oh yeah, about one year to two years even. Oh yes, but now we have one. Now we have one in the area. Yeah, and also you've learned how it is going to be made. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So, uh, guys. It is such amazing. I just want to show you how the toilet looks. You know, when somebody's walking from the road here, they can now see, wow, there is something that is taking place over there. Look at that. And you are just walking by the road, going like this, but you can peep and see. Yeah, how I wish if we finish this toilet, maybe we get a barbed wire to fence this home. At least it looks okay. Or maybe if we can do some other, other different things for her. Yeah, so what we are going to do, we have got a remaining uh, bricks here. We want to go and put the block, uh, something that is going to block like a curtain, you know, that's going to block the toilet over there. So I was discussing with the mason, we see if it can happen that way. And uh, also there are some boys who always bring the sand. Mm, they've started bringing it from the river because now we are preparing for the uh, plastering. 
yeah we are preparing for the plastering and again uh, our lady here mama boy she doesn't have a kitchen yeah she's cooking outdoor kitchen now i am wondering when it is raining where, where does she always cook when it is raining it's raining i have a stove oh she has got a stove eh? mm. so she cooks or she cook inside mm. oh but no jiko mm. oh yeah. Okay, I did not know that. Guys, still, still yeah. Cooking in the house. Oh, yeah. The house. oh, yeah. Oh, and still, she is in the market where she went to sell some bananas. You know, yeah. She hasn't come back. Wow, guys, look at this. You know, I always wanted to do this. I always, I always wanted to put smiles on some people. Yeah, look at this. This is, hey, this is looking so nice, guys. I'm so happy. Wow. <laughs> so this lady, this widow is now having a toilet and she's happy. You remember first time when I started coming here? She wasn't that much happier. When you look at the physical appearance, she wasn't much happy. But today she is very, very, very happy. I tell you, yeah, how she talked to people, you know. Yeah, this small thing makes her very, very happy. So here we have got uh, 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 this, uh, this toilet is going to be washroom and only toilet we are only going to have two rooms here and as you can see we are done doing the walling tomorrow we are doing the ah, roofing yeah now what i was talking about we wanted to put something here in front here to prevent somebody from seeing yeah when you come from there it prevents you from seeing somebody inside so maybe i can get a view can you might stand from here I get your view. How do you feel, my brother, about very, this time? I'm very happy. Yeah. Very, very happy. <laughs> You're so happy. I don't know what I'm going to eat today. I'm very happy. <laughs> You're so happy. I'm very happy. Okay. 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, seeing this happening here. I'm very happy to be. If my mother can have a toilet like this one. Hey. Also, me, um, me and I'm praying for yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. To continue with her. Yeah. It may be God blessing. Yeah, yeah. The same thing. I know even on the next ones will come. Yeah, yeah. Go, with God, God's with God. God's grace, everything will come. Yeah. Yeah, and guys, I'm also very happy. You know, I wanted to do this. Yeah, yeah and I said, oh, one day, one time, if I get support or if I get my own money, I will start helping people. Yeah. And I'm so glad this one is happening. Guys, we are very happy. We are very happy. The, the old family. Yeah. Not only me. Yeah. The old family is very, very happy. Very happy. Even so me by now, yeah. I have uh, my visitors. I now just, they can come here. And just my visitors can all go to inside the the bush. Bush. No, no, no. <laughs> they come, come here. here. <laughs> <laughs> he somebody else. Yeah, no bush. Come, come, my boy. I'm calling a boy to come. Oh, so you say your your visitors will never no longer ah, no, go no, to no. the bush. Ah, no, no, bushing like that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They come to that. Uh, uh, Even if they are at your home, there you tell them we have got a toilet. Come. <laughs> Private one, not for anybody. Oh, so this is going to be a private toilet. Private toilet. <laughs> just my sister friend. Uh, yeah. Wow, I'm so happy, boy. Are you happy? Yes. We need to see your happiness. Are you happy about the toilet? Yes. Eh? Yes. Yeah, so guys, this is a boy and uh, he is the son to mama, a boy. And his mother went to the market. Okay, where did your mama go? She used to sell bananas. Oh, she went to sell the bananas? Yeah. Okay, so guys, that is her primary business. That is what she's using. Uh, she goes and buy bananas, like for example... You can see we have got banana plantation over there. So when uh, it matures, she goes to the homes of people, ask them, and uh, she buy the unripe one. Then comes and uh, store them, they ripe, then she goes and sell it. So that's what has made a boy who is, who he is. He has been going to school, dressing, because of the bananas. Yeah, so on behalf of Mama a boy and a boy here, Guys, I'm so happy and I want to say thank you very much for supporting, the, supporting them to do this. And uh, what I want to say is uh, when I came here, I did not know that a boy already started digging the toilet. But uh, I found somewhere there, they had already started digging the toilet. If you look at yeah, that soil, yeah, they started digging the toilet. But now when we came, uh, the mason told me uh, it was not looking okay. So he had to dig another one. Yeah, so he dug here 
and now the work is here so guys i'm so happy very very happy yeah even my brother here is so so happy you know uh, we are not just saying what <laughs> yeah we are very very happy yeah. and god bless you uh continue supporting people yeah wherever you are you know with this and uh thank you very much mom i you know god bless you wherever you are you know uh you told me go just start go just start digging that toilet god will come through and the toilet will be finished and i can see we are now remaining with only the roof and the door wow guys i'm very very happy this is happening in my village for the first time oh you know since we were born here we haven't have any permanent structure no 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 since yes. have we no <laughs> no we'll never see so okay even if it is small guys we are so happy very very happy about it because at least little achievement that you get in life or little first thing that you do in life you have to be very very happy about it so with me i'm so happy my brother here is so happy very too. happy very yeah, happy yeah he's very here happy. to witness he's not going anywhere i know no. he's not going and anywhere you have to hear all the time yeah mm. and again guys i remember something uh my brother yes. and i have got a friend of mine who started helping us to do this project yeah uh she is a, a, a spiritual lady yeah, yeah she's a prayerful lady she mm. does the de deliverance mm. i shared with her your story mm. and she told me if you can agree mm. we can uh, make a zoom call mm. so that she can do a deliverance to you maybe to what is happening to you uh can you be in a position to allow her do that or i allow her to do that okay and i will be happy if god help me uh -huh. i can be happy me also to come to look like somebody else yeah to be different to, to determined to be changed yeah to look at somebody how the people are working they match and everything they have their things they made their things yeah you don't know wasting time because nowadays it's days it goes it goes like that yeah there's some prayer for god if i can do for me like that we also just pray to the lord okay yes. i'm going to talk to her so that uh, we arrange because you know she is also busy mm -hmm. and a time like this is when they are waking up right now mm -hmm. so that uh, we make so that i may come with a laptop at home yeah. so that i do zoom call yeah. so that you 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 be delivered from maybe what's happening to you by the way i always pray for you i me personally yes. i've been when even the time when i was in Nairobi, i was praying for you saying I need my brother to change, you know. He is the one who made me who I am today. Because if it would have not been you, I would have not be who I am today. So I always pray for you so that God bless you. God return you who you are, you know. I know the great deeds that you have, you have done at home here, you know. Because I'm in the ground, I know very much. Yeah, guys, this is my cousin, the one that I, I was sharing you his story about how things happened. He was a good man, he was working... He was uh, helping people, a lot of people with good heart. But unfortunately, uh, something wrong happened to him. I don't know how it happened, but he, uh, he started drinking alcohol and it uh, interfered with this program. So I'm praying for him so that he change. So all this that is happening for, to him to be done away with. So I shared this story with uh, a certain lady whom I've just explained to you. And as uh, she said she can help us in deliver delivering him so we are happy because he has agreed and you know i don't know why you have agreed today because uh i've been coming you remember not the first time no. telling you yes. uh, it, wh why don't we even look for somebody who can pray for her for you but you usually change the story but today you are very different mm -hmm. i don't know if the deliverance has just started <laughs> uh, no <laughs> yeah Maybe even i myself yeah i need like that oh yeah but by the time by the time me also i'm feeling why not my brother talk me talk me about uh, to deliver the the, the, the problem that you have. I have yeah but i always see i'll go slowly and remember as i i myself that i come to feel right and good if I'm, I can be like that, yeah. but through words and somebody's prayers and plus mine, plus my friends, plus anybody, I appreciate I'll become like I uh, the last time back. Okay. Yeah, yeah so. the way you were a long time ago. Yeah. And by the way, people love you so much. It's only that now 
the alcohol has taken over you but yes. we are praying for you so that everything's be okay that's my big prayer oh, that is good yeah and I'll, I'll i'll be happy to see you change the way you just said yes. even though maybe you never know life has got ups and downs yes. but at least you don't drink alcohol that is my prayer yes yeah i'm not saying because maybe there are some maybe if they are taking dinner they might be drinking wine you know but this much much alcohol that might you you might be abusing people that one is the one that we want to do stop. away with yeah you need to stop that so that at, at least it gives you time to go and work okay no i appreciate for that yeah but me also i'll welcome the story you gave me yeah but by the time last you tell me that uh, about that story yeah of the liver, so I come very slowly and relax to say, ah, this is my brother, what does he look for me? Yeah. How I am? And all along, he's not telling me that the same case like this one. Yeah. So but as I go once by one, slow by slow, I feel this boy, even a little one for me, maybe it's uh, God sending like some messenger yeah. to help in us another way. Another way. It means I still know, don't know, will I be, I'll be changed through God. But me also, I want such thing. To happen. Very, I'll be happy to carry even my Bible to church. Okay. Yes. Yeah, no problem, bro. All the best. Yes. I know one day, one time, it will come and uh, God will just help you. I appreciate it. But first of all, me, what I know, it should first of all come from you. Inside yes. you, you say, I need to change, you know. Then, maybe if it is there is dark powers that is pushing you, but once you said, I need to change, then God is going to come in and the dark powers are going to be do the, 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 go out and you are going to be okay. That is it was me I even last week mm -hmm. I met I on my way to to alcohol drink. Yeah. I get a some a certain boy on my way and tell me my friend how you are now we are taking a good cloth and you're just going to drink. Yeah. Why today do, do we go to with your clothes a good cloth to church? Yeah, he's trying to talk with me, me and failed to go with him up to church, which means me last week I'm in church. Oh, you, you but want on to? on my way to go, I go to Alcoa, I'm going to drink. Oh, you are going but to I drink? I met a certain boy uh -huh. on my way to drink. Oh, yeah. And then challenge me with you no know, just talking. Then you went to church? Went to church with him. Oh, you went to church? Yes. Wow, that's yeah. so great. Wow, that is so wonderful of you. Yes, yes. And God bless you. That yeah. is also a sign of calling. Yeah. yeah, you said the person told you you are dressing well, going to drink alcohol. Yeah. Why After don't you? After that, I'll become, if I'm very dark and what And said, dirty, yeah. And dirty, we are taking But if you go to the church clothes. with good clothes, you don't, won't back. come back. With how they are. They, they were. Yeah. Wow, that, I did not know that. You did not even tell me that. I'm but, just hearing it but, for the first time. <laughs> I didn't know you tell me the second, a certain story. I did, I did ask Man, I don't know. That one is so amazing of you. Yeah, so guys, uh, that is a little story with me and my brother here, and I really love him so much. He's like my father, he's like my dad. Whenever, wherever I am, I, I look up to him, yeah, because if I want to do anything, I have to consult. Yeah, I have to consult him, ask him, bro, this one need to happen, how can we go about it? Yeah, even though he's drinking alcohol, but uh, his maturity level of listening and advising people, is very very high so thank you thank you very much the people who supported this project uncle tony uh mom who started with me building this project the lady who sent us 3650 and the one that sent one two thousand kenyan shillings and the rest that came up together and uh, br uh put the money together the ones that i mentioned their names yesterday wow the likes of brenda derrick by the way, guys, when I was mentioning the names, uh, I, I asked for the permission to do that so there is no bad uh, bad thing or, on it because I have to confirm. So God bless you and continue supporting us here in Africa. Thank you very much. Tomorrow we'll be showing you where the house has reached as we are here in the village the whole week. So, a boy, do watch tomorrow. God bless you. Yeah. Me or because tearing a team of guinea, Corrida Conenan, what do you want to tell the people who are doing this for us or for thank you? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, God bless them. Yeah, whenever they are. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, guys, this tone is emotional. You know, when he's talking, I feel like crying, you know. <laughs> yeah, sawa, sawa. Mungu wa mekusikiza, na wa mekusikiza, sawa. So, guys, give this video a like, share, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye from here. Love you.